Okay, we start this problem as usual by deciding upon our coordinate axes and drawing ourselves a free body diagram. This time the x-axis is in the horizontal direction and the y-axis in the vertical direction. And then on the right hand side of the screen we have our free body diagram. Now the important point to notice in this problem is that the normal reaction force N is not actually equal to the weight of the crate because the 400 Newton force has actually got a component in the vertical direction. So if we resolve the 400 Newton force into two components, one in the vertical direction and one in the horizontal direction, as shown now. The next thing to do is to set up our equations of motion. So let's consider first of all the equation of motion in the x direction. Using Newton's second law, the mass times the acceleration in the x direction is equal to the resultant force in the x direction. And looking at the free body diagram, you can see that the resultant force is just 400 cos 30 degrees minus the friction force. We then substitute for the friction force in terms of the coefficient of friction and the normal force N. That's our equation one. Now we consider our equation of motion in the vertical direction or the y direction. Again, using Newton's second law, the mass times the acceleration in the y direction is equal to the resultant force in the y direction. In the upwards direction, the two forces are the normal reaction force and the 400 sine 30 degrees force, in other words the component of the 400 Newton force. And going downwards we have the weight. Now because there is no acceleration in the vertical direction, then Ay is actually equal to zero. And so rearranging that equation we get that the normal reaction force is 290.5 Newtons. We now substitute that back into our equation 1 and we get that m a x is equal to 400 cos 30 degrees minus 0.3 which is the coefficient of friction times 290.5 which gives us 259.3 newtons. Dividing through then by the mass of our crate gives us finally our acceleration which is 5.185 meters per second squared.